everybody. Flame here. <laughs> it's probably been a while since you guys have uh, heard my voice, uh, let alone seen my channel active. And uh, for those of you coming to this video confused as to why all my videos have disappeared, here is the explanation and it is the reasoning of why I am making this video. So yes, I am still here. I am still alive. I didn't die. Um, channel is still here. Just all my videos are gone. Now, what is the reasoning for all my videos being gone? Well, that's kind of hard to explain, but I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. Depending on how long this video is, is how short I could make the explanation. So what I had uh, noticed is that my channel had been performing pretty poorly with the type of content that I wanted to make relative to the content that I had made in the past. Now that is normal for a lot of YouTube channels that are trying to shift their content. But for me, I just genuinely wanted to shift my content to something that I actually enjoyed as opposed to those videos that you are used to seeing from my channel, that of which being the Windows tweaking videos, the latency videos, and uh, some of the performance videos. Now, why am I shifting the content of my videos? Because it doesn't make me happy anymore. I, I, I was never happy making the content in the first place about tweaking and all that other stuff because I just felt like I didn't need it. And I wasted so much time in high school building an audience off of this general concept. And I wish I would have spent more time making videos that actually matter to me than all this latency jargon and optimizing for the best performance on your computer. Now, is performance important on your computer? Absolutely. But is there an easier way to fix that problem than spending hours of your life just tweaking your computer and never actually playing any games? And having to reinstall Windows more times than once. I'm not even joking, you guys. After I made those latency tweaking videos, I would do something and I would just break something and then I would have to completely reinstall Windows. I think it was on a bi-weekly basis. Like basically every two weeks, I would have to reinstall Windows. There came a point where I think I was installing reinstalling Windows every other week. So basically like every other week. And it got so annoying to the point where I just said, that's it. I'm just going to stop doing this. And I fell into kind of a depression, I guess you could say, because my videos weren't performing as well as they would be. And that I saw my YouTube channel dying because my passion was dying out for making YouTube videos. And I guess the biggest takeaway I had to take from this is that people were just like genuinely concerned about my well-being and my mental health as they saw my energy levels drop in videos. I guess a good example could be the NVIDIA control panel video. I definitely didn't have a whole lot of energy in that video. And it was just because I was shoving out something to maybe revive my channel. And did it work? Yes. Did I enjoy it? Absolutely not. And it's just dishonest to people to make content that you don't yourself enjoy anymore and you're just doing it to boost your channel or to bring up your revenue. I never really cared about money in the first place on this YouTube channel, uh, nor did I think I would make money off of this YouTube channel. Now, am I happy I did at one point? Absolutely. It was great to not have to get a job immediately when I was in high school and to just rely on YouTube, and that was great, but obviously times have changed. I am now 22 years old. Um, I'm not jobless, but I have the same part-time job that I had basically at the end of college, and that's not good. Now, you may be saying at the end of college, oh, so you finished college? Uh, no. <laughs> I actually dropped out of college. I did not like college. It was not really for me. I might go back at some point if I can't find full-time work within the next month or so, maybe month or two. But for me, I just, um, I had a hard time adjusting to college. It just, the workload was tremendous and it kind of pushed me to my breaking point. So I just, um, I failed. Basically, I just dropped out. Now, was that the smartest decision? Probably not because I did waste a good chunk of money. I would have had more money if I just would have kept going through college or if I just didn't go to college in general and I just got another job. I probably would have still had more money. But as it currently stands right now, 
the way I am as an adult being 22 years old, I am still living at my parents' place and, um, they kind of just want me to move out at this point. Now they're being very nice about it. They're just saying, um, Oh, well, you just get a full-time job and, uh, you'll be all right. Um, well, I've been applying for a couple of full-time jobs and that's been kind of challenging because I, I had an interview or two and I've also had a fair share of jobs that I've applied for. A lot of them say no degree or experience required still have not called me back and it's been weeks at a time. So I've just been looking around more and more and more. That's kind of the situation where I'm at right now. I'm basically just here living at my parents and I have some money, but it's dwindling and it's basically almost non-existent now. I have to work my way back up to get more money. Um, so the hope is, is that I can find a job. And then once I have a stable income and I've fixed things with my life, come back to this YouTube channel and revive it as a passion project. Just something that I really wanted to do in the first place. I've always been passionate for content creation. Just the content creation that I was doing at the time was kind of just blind minded and just foolish. I should have known that eventually I would have gotten bored of it and that just, I, I was just so blind. I, I didn't know that just upgrading your hardware was the solution. I hate to say this for a lot of people out there who are struggling in games. The reason why you're struggling is because you're not taking the time to actually learn the video games. One good example is me here playing Frontlines on Roblox. I sucked at this game when I first tried and played it, but that was because I was focusing more on the aspect of tweaking and getting the highest FPS. I wasn't focusing on my peripherals or my actual setup. I was focusing more on the latency, the FPS, and all this other stuff. And the same goes for Fortnite or basically any other competitive game that I have ever played ever since high school. And could I have made some money off of it? Absolutely. If I would have just kept playing instead of doing all this tweaking and stuff like that. This goes into another point of why I decided to private all of my content and to make it private is because after I made it private, I realized that I was flooded with a ton of DMs and those DMs were basically saying, oh, hey, uh, I want to have access to this video again. I noticed that it was gone from your channel. I am a competitive player of X game and X competitive game or whatever. And I have this huge tournament coming up and I need these tweaks because my computer just doesn't feel the same. And then I'm like, okay, it's probably just a one-off. But I was just getting absolutely bombarded and flooded with DMs on Discord, Twitter. Some people even went out as far as messaging me on TikTok. And now if you know my TikTok, which I mean, I, I'm not going to publicly give it away, but um, it's out there. And I did put information out on there, like just tweaking videos and stuff like that. But then I started doing what I actually enjoyed on there and people started leaving. So it's kind of dead at this point. But all you need to know is that people were just flooding my DMs like crazy. Most of them being people that, um, well, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, uh, I were exploiting me. We're taking those free tweaks and those free optimizations, probably using ad block while watching the video so that I don't make a dime, but then they feel better at the game, more confident, AKA mind games, because tweaks don't actually make a difference. It's all in your head guys. Like, I don't even know how many times I have to explain this, but your mouse tweak or your split threshold or all this other junk is all in your head. If you think it feels smoother, your brain will trick yourself into making it feel smoother. Your brain is the strongest thing in your body. Your mind can make you believe anything. A great example of this is just like this TV show, this like drama TV show that my parents watch is like this like thing where it's like uh, EMS or something like that. Basically, I watched this and I, it made me realize how naive I was and just like trusting my mind to make me believe these things that was actually not real in reality and that I was just tricking myself. 
so the consensus of the episode was is that everybody was on this flight and then this one person started getting coughing and getting sick but it actually wasn't them getting coughing and getting sick it was just them uh they had something bad to eat and then all of a sudden out of nowhere they started having these fake symptoms and then they they said they were sick and then their body made them sick and then all of a sudden everywhere around them thought it was like some kind of contagious disease and of course their minds thinking that made their bodies have the exact same symptoms your mind is the strongest thing in your entire body and it can make you believe anything as long as your brain is thinking that it is real and you are thinking that it's real it'll make it real so if you think your computer is lagging your brain will perceive lag on your computer even if it doesn't exist I am not even joking, you guys. There are legitimate scientific studies studying this about the human brain and how it can make you believe things and like make things a reality that don't exist to other people that only exist to you because your mind is making you believe it. And as soon as I let go of this notion and I just started playing games, I never really noticed a difference. I, I just kept playing video games and I was enjoying them. And heck, I was actually getting better at them. I'm going to put up some screenshots now and maybe a couple of gameplay clips of what I had achieved just by playing the game. So these are screenshots from the game, me playing the game and actually getting better each time I play it. Like I had never had so many times where I've gotten in the top 10 of these games or I've gotten better at these games. And I, I noticed that it wasn't just FPS games. It was also strategy games. Like I was actually letting my mind figure out these things instead of focusing on something that doesn't really exist and that I made up in my head. And like the main aspect of this, the takeaway from this video I want you to take away is that yes, there are some things that can help performance on a computer that's lacking. Like if it's really low end, but if we're talking any computer that's been made in the past, like five, six, hell, I'd even argue seven years, you're probably fine with just cranking the settings down and maybe getting a high refresh rate monitor. And that's good enough. Now to the people who are watching my videos saying like, no, oh, that's baloney and I'm unsubscribing from your channel because you're going away from all this genuine stuff that you actually told about. Okay. I don't care about that. I knew that making this video would make me lose some subscribers and that's fine, but I just don't feel like being exploited anymore for stuff that my knowledge is. And like, it's not even my knowledge, actually. It's just rehashed tweaking stuff that I got from online forums, YouTube videos, discords, you name it. I just took that information and I put it out on my YouTube channel. It isn't even my information, guys. This is the problem with the tweaking community, and it's kind of why I left in the first place. It isn't just the mind thing. It's also just the tweaking community in general is just a pile of garbage. It is just like a hot pile of garbage. There are so many people who just like think they know everything, and it's honestly just so toxic. Like just this whole community is just toxic. You, you look at all these YouTubers who like, you got to pay me money so that your computer can be faster. Well, I wanted to do that. I was actually thinking at one point, hey, I could profit off of this and I wanted to. But then I looked at some of the backlash that these creators were getting for charging money for these things. Some of them even actually claiming to be better than these other people who did it for free and or just like these YouTube videos. Heck, there's like striking battles going on on YouTube. I've seen it firsthand with all these tweaking channels. It's just a mess. And it's why I left ultimately. It's just because everything in this whole tweaking community is just rehashed garbage. Just everybody just says the same stuff. They just say it differently. 
Nothing is different. Everything is the same information. They're just doing it in a different order or they're just doing it in a different way and explaining it in a different way. Some of them are even locking it behind paywalls, claiming it's their own information when in reality it's not. It's probably just someone's free tweak that they put out online or something that they figured out made their specific computer or their specific setup faster that they steal and then put online and rehash it. And that's what this channel used to be, but I don't enjoy that anymore. And I think it's disingenuous to everybody who's watching this entire channel or this video right now. And I just want to apologize for ever doing this to you to make you believe in these tweaks, to make you believe in all this other stuff. Obviously I'm still going to be around, but for now, I'm just going to be trying to figure out my life what's next, where I'm going. And that is the entire reason for this update video. Now, I don't want you to be discouraged about me making videos again. Obviously I'm going to be making videos again, but it's going to be content that I genuinely enjoy. I may have been repeating myself multiple times during this video. I don't know. I'm just going to check out the recording, make sure it looks good. And then I'm going to upload this to YouTube fully unedited. That's kind of the reason why I'm using this gameplay video. I'm just speaking my mind. There's no scripts here and I'm just making sure that I'm speaking my mind and that I'm not like being disingenuous to you guys. So overall, the biggest takeaway from this video is that my content is going to be changing. I myself, I am not going to be changing. I'm still going to be the most genuine person I can possibly be on this YouTube channel and nothing will ever change that. The content on this YouTube channel, I am going to keep the tweaking videos private. I'm not deleting them because there is some actual good genuine information in there for people and sometimes I forget and I have to reference my own videos again, but I am putting a full halt stop on tweaking and like content about optimizing your latency on your computer. And if you guys want help with that, you can join my Discord, link will be in the description and in the um, comments for this video. And I also do stream on Twitch. Um, I do it at least once or twice a week. So if you wanna watch me there, I can answer your questions there. And basically this is just an homage video. It's not the death of my channel. It is the rebirth of my channel. I am rebirthing my channel. I am making it anew. I'm making content I will actually enjoy and stuff that is not disingenuous to people and like stuff that I actually enjoy rather than content that got views and was very good, but I didn't enjoy it anymore. And I also didn't realize at the time was just baloney and that the real way to get better at video games is to get used to your hardware and to just play and also if you want better performance to just lower the game settings or upgrade your computer so thanks for watching guys i hope you can understand from this video where i am right now it was kind of all over the place but i hope you can understand thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time